Hi, hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sky, and today I just wanted to do a little get ready with me. I'm gonna be using some items in my Shop My Stash, however, this isn't gonna be like an exclusive Shop My Stash get ready with me. It's just kind of like a chit chat, let's play with makeup, um, update y'all with some things, and very excited to do so. Fun fact, uh, I cut my hair myself recently. Um, it's definitely not perfect, like you can kind of see that like I missed this fat chunk right there. But you know what? Considering I cut it myself, I don't think it's too bad. I even like shaved all of the bits myself. I will say that while I was giving my hair cut, when I was on like the hair shaving portion, I, um, <laughs> it was so hard to not keep going. I was like, I could just shave my head right now and no one can stop me. It's been a while since I've done like a get ready with me. So I'm gonna update ya on my life. Shall I go in chronological order? I shall because we'll get the sad stuff out of the way. Um, so I had a bad like month and a half, nearly two months, uh, like a bad mental health episode, which was fantastic. <laughs> I got a laugh because that's how I cope. Um, yeah, so it was not great. Um, I find that I go through like waves and ebbs and flows with my mental health. Like typically it's not great, but it is like manageable. But that like month and a half was brutal. <laughs> Quick trigger warning. Um, I'm just going to talk about like a bad mental health episode. Um, it will include like deep derealization, psychosis. Skip to this timestamp if you don't feel comfortable hearing it. I won't go super into detail, but just in case that's something sensitive, you can skip to the more like exciting part of this great ready with me. I just wanted to talk about it because it's, you know, it's something that happened. I'm using the NYX Bear With Me uh, Concealer Serum and I actually, I bought this on a whim and I really do enjoy it. So yeah, I went through a bit of an episode where I just, I had a derealization, depersonalization episode, which they do happen. Um, I don't really know what triggers it because nothing specifically this time triggered it. It just kind of happened. I literally just did not feel alive. I did not feel like I was, I felt like I was floating. I feel like most people, like if you've been through one of these episodes, it's weird. Like I was not looking after myself because I just didn't feel like I couldn't decipher what was real and what wasn't because uh fun fact I also um have some psychosis sometimes um I have to say it in the silly voice because it makes it bearable to talk about because it's serious um but yeah and I had some psychosis which was great um I do hallucinate um like sounds and visuals and it was just not fun. It lasted for quite a while and thankfully like Greg has been the biggest support with everything. He's always like my, he's like my rock. He is truly my best friend. I, I love that man so much. He was really sweet and helping me out through the whole thing and thankfully uh, I think I've gotten out of it now. I'm a lot better. I'm a lot more positive. I feel like energized, rejuvenated. I usually do feel that way after like a really bad episode. Like I feel like when things start to perk up, they really shoot up. Uh, so I'm trying to ride that wave, but also listen to my body a bit more. Cause my body for years, especially like dealing with, you know, like my chronic pain and other disabilities and also like learning that I, I'm autistic uh, this year that like beforehand I would be constantly like go 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 do everything all at once don't like focus on you know just keep things going because then that's how that's how I coped with things like if I'm doing 500 things at once I don't have time to overthink and panic which that constantly led me into burnout and constantly made me even more exhausted than I already was because I was pushing through everything like my batteries were like completely running on empty and I didn't fully like grasp that that wasn't normal because <laughs> I was like yeah surely this is what like being an adult is like right like oh shit that was a lot of powder oopsie like I fully thought that that's how people were coping with it so I just kind of kept quiet about it and occasionally would mention it to my friends um and family but I think this year, and it's so silly because people have been telling me this for years and I never like listened because I just was scared. Like anytime I wasn't doing 
like a thousand percent on things I would be panicking and like I would be uncomfortable I wouldn't want to sit with my thoughts I was it was really uncomfortable I can't lie it was so like I felt nauseous and all of that stuff when I would try and just step back and try and do nothing like I would be panicking I would not be having a good time but after a while, it's getting a lot easier. Like I'm actually able to like take a step back. I have like quite bad fatigue sometimes uh, due to chronic pain and everything else. Um, and I get really bad sensory overload and all that. And uh, most of the time I would just push through it. I have noticed such a difference in my mental well-being. I am a lot more like, I understand myself a lot more and I, feel really good. I think learning that I have autism really opened up a lot of... it answered a lot of questions for me. If you skipped to this part because you didn't really want to hear all of the other stuff, basically, long story short, went through a really bad mental health episode. Thankfully it didn't get too too severe, but now I am a lot better now and yeah. I'm not gonna say I hope it sticks because I'll be honest, uh, my mental health ebbs and flows, my physical health ebbs and flows, like everybody's does. Um, so I'm just gonna enjoy what I have now. Like, I'm just gonna enjoy it and not, like, try not to think when's the next thing gonna happen. I'm just gonna try and enjoy. I went to a wedding recently and I will give you, like, all the tea. So basically, um, my friend Katie was getting married uh, her username on Instagram is Freddy Makeup Ree. She is a makeup friend in the community, and we've been friends for years. And I love her so so much. She is honestly one of the most kind, sweetest people I know. She is such like she's like a sister that I've never had, and she is just wonderful. We have been like trying to meet up for ages, like, but because of you know the pandemic and also like. The few times that we were, like, almost able to see each other, we, like, just missed each other. It was really, like, it was so annoying. But she invited me to her wedding, and this was going to be the first time I saw her in person. And my other makeup friend, Emily, uh, Emily Lakin on Instagram, I'll link both of them down below. They're both extremely, like, sweet little sunshine cupcakes in the communi in community. community. And I got to meet them, and it was beautiful. But... Before we went to the wedding, um, there were train strikes that one weekend that we were going up north. Because uh, if you don't know, I live in the south of the UK, um, and the wedding was up north, which is quite, quite a ways away. And Greg and I were like, okay, we'll just take the train like the night before. All the trains were cancelled, and then the other, the few that were running they were completely booked up and full um, and unless we wanted to spend like 200 quid on a return we were not getting that we were not getting there so greg and i thought okay let's think so we actually traveled up on the thursday the wedding was on a sunday we traveled up on thursday halfway to birmingham because greg's friend was driving us i need to stop doing bronzer I've been bronzing for ages, man. But I'm gonna do freckles now, just because I can do those and talk very easily. So yeah, Greg's friend drove us up to Birmingham, and then we took a train to a different uh, city, um, different to the wedding venue, because that's where Greg's brother, Will, lives with his partner and their cat. Now, I'm not gonna say the name of the city, because I don't... I don't want to dox them. But yeah, we went up to their city and spent a few days with them, and it was so lovely. It was my first time, like, meeting, like, Greg's brother and his partner. And what's really sweet is, is that Greg and his brother are basically, like, twins. They are so cute. Like, they are truly, like, Greg always says that, like, his brother is his best friend. Like, of, like, his lifelong best friend. And it is, you can really tell with them. Like, they are just... It makes me so happy seeing siblings so connected because like my brother and I are and it's just like really, it's wholesome. And the funny thing is, is that Will's partner is also non-binary <laughs> and also they have a cat, put a picture of her right here, and her name is Morris and she looks like Molly. <laughs> just a wider version of Molly. <laughs> so I'm just like, did we like duplicate 
is like there's some sort of matrix shit going on. It was quite funny, but really like sweet. And also like we got along so well and we were like exploring their city and it was just lovely. I have fallen in love with the North of England because I've only ever lived in the South, but the North is just so quaint and sweet. Like we went to a couple different places and it was just, it was lovely. I, I loved it. And yeah, and then on Sunday morning, we took a train up to another little town, which is where the wedding was being held. And I don't have many pictures of like this entire trip because to be honest, I was more focused on like spending time with them, not really documenting all that much. But at the wedding, like Katie's wedding, it was, it was magical. I did, I did cry a bit <laughs> while we were watching the ceremony. It was just so, special and sweet seeing my beautiful friend get married and I, st I find that so iconic as well that the first time I meet Katie in person like we have video called a lot previous but the first time that we meet in person is on the day where it is the most special and it, she looked absolutely stunning like truly a magical princess it was just it got me okay <laughs> it really got me and yeah, we just spent the day like, you know, doing wedding festivities. The food there was fucking great. There was like a gin and lemon sorbet that I, I want. What's the recipe? Give it to me. And thankfully there were professional photographers there and it was really sweet because they got loads of pictures of like everything. They were really efficient. Actually like hats off to that photography like service because they were fucking great. Um, so whenever I get those pictures back, Obviously, like, there's no rush, because, I mean, newlyweds, they already are busy with their lives, but there were so many pretty pictures, and I can't wait to see the pictures of, like, myself, Emily, and Katie, like, all together, because he was so cute. And Greg and I, like, got some nice pictures of us taken, so I want to see those. Okay, so today I'm actually going to use Lure from Blend Bunny, because I want to use some, um, like, of the greens and purples today. I call it a bit fucking unfair because, because Greg, um, he looks absolutely stunning in every single picture you take of him. Like this man is the most photogenic person I have ever seen. He is so, and that's just, that's not be, me being biased. Like in every picture he, he's just like, he's posing really cute. Like it's like that um, meme in How I Met Your Mother, how you can never get a bad photo of Barney and that like whole episode, like during their like little dinner party, they're trying to get shit pictures of him, but he always just looks like, you know? It's very akin to that. So like literally, like, I feel like, for me, I'm not the most photogenic person. Like, I've got my poses, I can take good pictures when I'm taking them, but if somebody else is taking them, I feel like I always look a little bit like a boiled egg. So I can already imagine that in these wedding pictures, Greg is gonna look absolutely gorgeous. He's gonna look so handsome and real, like, just basically like a model. And then I'm gonna be there like, hello. And me thinks I'm gonna go into the shared sea form and plonk that. I kind of wish that this palette had a mirror. I know it's not the end of the world, but like, part of me wishes it had a mirror. I think because All Done Up has a mirror, and I always use that palette for the mirror, that it's jarring to see a palette without it. I'm gonna do something that, like quite fairy-esque, because I haven't really done many fairy looks lately, and considering my username is Fairy Sky, that is literally a crime, that on site, on site. Yeah, those were the big events. And also while I was gone away, um, because my mum has been traveling, because I live with my, at home with my mum, uh, we had to sort out, well, where the hell is Molly gonna go? Like where, we can't, and the last thing that I wanted to do was put her in a cattery because I know her, she would fucking hate it. <laughs> like she's such an anxious, like reserved girl and she hates, I think most pets don't like unfamiliar circumstances, especially like cats, but she like hates that shit. So thankfully my brother and sister-in-law took care of her while we were gone and she was really comfortable once she was there. Um, traveling she does not like, like in the car ride, like Holly told me that Molly was freaking out and just not having a good time and yeah, we got her back yesterday, 
um, and she was very, it was really sad because she was so anxious, bless her, and she was, she's normally a very loud cat, like she's very talkative, especially as of like the last year, so hearing how silent she was and how reserved she was, was so how she used to be when we first got her, and it was really sad. I was like, oh, no, Molly, my little baby. Thankfully though, this morning, like she was meowing. She like laid on my chest for a bit. Shade of green is like just so perfect. Honestly, whoever like invented the shade of green, whoever discovered it, they really popped their pussy with it. But yeah, those are all of like the main events that have gone on in my life lately. Very, you know what's funny? I've been to two weddings in two months. I don't even know if I mentioned the first wedding, like, in a previous Get Ready With Me, because I think I was just so busy that I wasn't able to mention it. But yeah, Greg and I also went to another wedding, which was Greg's childhood friend, um, and that wedding was really cute. But yeah, so many people getting married lately. It's mad. It's absolutely mad. I feel like I'm getting to that age where people are starting to get married, settle down, like, get, like, their own pets with their partners and stuff. God, now that I say that, I feel like it's not gonna be- I mean, granted, I'm only 22, so I still have, like, probably a few years until this shit happens, but, like, eventually people are gonna start having kids. And that scares me. <laughs> the thought of my, like, close mates having kids, I'm just like, bro, I we, we were, like, staying up until 3am laughing at Google Translate, like, read-out poems that we have written. Which is my favourite one that I had with my friend Emma, Profiterol up my bum, yum yum. And the thought of, like, my friends having children freaks me out. The thought of me having kids freaks me out. I'm just like, mm, mm That's okay, that's a problem for future Sky. I don't- I ain't planning on having kids anytime soon. I got the birth control, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, enough about children, let's go into jellyfish. I'm just gonna fluff that on the, like, inner portion. I love doing, like, a two-toned, um, crease situation. It's just lovely. You know what, man? When I was not doing well, I kind of let everything go. Like, I was- the only thing I was taking care of in that time was Molly. Mainly because Molly is very loud and she will not let you go. But my plants have been suffering a lot. Like, I have a plant there that- I don't know if you can see. It's a coffee plant. His name's Cuppa Joe. Um, and he's kind of not doing well. Um, yeah, a lot of my plants are dying, so I'm gonna have to sort that out. Thankfully, like, they are revivable. You let me know what's been going on in your life. I'd like to know in the comments. I'm trying to get better with replying to comments because I'll be fully honest, I'm not the greatest at replying to comments purely because um, a lot of the time I read them, I see them, I then get overwhelmed with the idea of socialising with people and being like, oh my god, this is a human being that's looking at my video, watching me and replying to me and this is a human being with their own life and own thoughts and own feelings. And then I start spiralling and then I'm just like, you know what, no, I'm not gonna reply to comments. That is purely a me problem and I know I need to get the fuck over it, but sorry if it takes me a while to reply to comments and messages. I'm even like that with my friends and that's... The only person I'm not like that with is Greg. I don't- I know what I want to do on my lid and, like, outer part, but I don't know, like, what I want to do here. Because part of me wants to put that purple here as well, but then also, like, it's a bit one note then. Maybe I should do, like, a blue. Man, I have so much content that I need to catch up on. I've not been wearing that much makeup lately. And if I have, it's usually been, like, the same, like, three things. But there's so much content that I want to make with like so many palettes because like since I uploaded my last Shot My Stash I've been trying to do my Shot My Stashes monthly but this time I was like I barely wore makeup in what month was it? March? Oh my god it's now May. Shit. But I had barely worn makeup like the last like two months because of the the big sad um, so I was like, I'll just keep my shot moustache continuing and I'll just add some more bits in it that I get. So, I do have like a couple of new palettes in my collection. Like I've got the Glaminatrix Into the Night palette that I got in PR and the Geology Wheat Belt. And I know I did a video on Wheat Belt, but I haven't done one on Into the Night. I have used Into the Night quite a few times. Yeah, I'm always open to content suggestions. I always use Get Ready With Me's to like ask like if there's literally anything you want to see from me. 
please let me know because I could always use the ideas and inspiration. Also, you know what's super cute actually? Um, that you, might, that you guys might like to hear. Uh, it's Greg and I's six month anniversary next week when I'm filming this. I never thought I would be the person to celebrate like month anniversaries, but like I, Greg's also equally excited and I'm just like, you know what? No, it is cute. We're celebrating. And yeah, I'll let you know how that goes. I'm probably gonna recreate the makeup that I did on our first date. I'm actually wearing like a similar outfit to what I wore on our first date. Yeah, we're gonna go to the same pub that we like met at on our first date. Like we're gonna like have a little recreation, probably go out for dinner. I'm really excited. He's also like said to me, he's like, oh, I've got some other plans that I'm gonna surprise you with. And I fucking hate when people tell me like, I've got a surprise for you. You have to tell me, legally you have to tell me. Tell me all of the details right now. You can't tell me you have a surprise for me. I'd rather just be surprised, you know? But yeah, Greg's been teasing me with it and he refuses to tell me anything and I'm very annoyed. <laughs> I think I am gonna use a blue. I'm gonna use Lost at Sea. I wanna kinda stick with the pastels. I'm sure that I will document our anniversary because I'm a, I'm a sucker for memories. I'm a memory hoarder. I simply love taking pickies and like sharing memories. I say that when I said that like when I went up north, I didn't take that many pics. I mean, I did but most of like the wedding stuff is gonna come from the professional photos. Bro, Blend Bunny's eyeshadow formula fucking slaps. Like her mattes are just pure sex. See, whenever I use their palettes, I'm always like, you know what, Sky, you should complete your collection because you got three of them now. And I'm like, no, <laughs> we're not doing that. And actually speaking of Greg, I mean, I've been talking about him a lot. I talk about that man so much. I fucking love him. I'm seeing him later today. I'm very excited. I'm actually going to be like this weekend, I'm gonna be filming a video with him. So you get to like see him on camera and all that. He is actually so excited to film with me. Um, I did suggest, um, cause someone on Instagram suggested that like, oh, your partner picks out your makeup. And Greg already like, does that for me to a degree like i'm like hey which eyeshadow should i use when i swatch like a couple or if i ask him like oh what kind of look shall i do and he'll make a suggestion so i'm very excited for him to like actually pick out products and all that stuff and he's really excited to be on my channel like anytime i talk about makeup and stuff he's like man like i'm really excited to like properly like be a part of it. So you get to meet him and I'm really excited. You get to meet the man, the myth, the legend, Gregory. <laughs> right, so I'm gonna take these two shades right here. So I'm gonna take Folklore and Pearl. Uh, folklore on the outer part, Pearl on the inner bit. I actually have no idea what he'll pick because he loves, uh, he's definitely gonna pick a lot of sparkles. I can already tell you that. Um, I know he might pick something red he loves red, but I don't have any red, like, sparkly shades. I really need to get that Odin's Eye fucking uh, single shadow Leon. That red? Oh, I want it so bad. As I'm filming this, they also released their, um, or shown their new palettes. And I'm like, God, this pearl shade reminds me so much of Cleona Glazed. I actually have no idea if they're the same. But like the vibes are there. I want to let you know that currently I've been recording for 40 minutes and I'm not even close to being done. Now for the inner corner, shall I use the light blue? Yeah, I'm using the light blue. I've made the decision. Fuck me, I just voice cracked. So we're going to use, what's it called? In a bottle. Essentially, this is like the Taylor Swift blue, like her original like album, the Taylor Swift self-titled one. That's her and it's called in a bottle and she's got a song called message in a bottle which is fucking slappy i love it oh mate speaking of taylor swift she's obviously like she's re-releasing like her albums re-recording them to make them her version and that she owns them she's doing a speak now and we've been waiting for it with bated breath like ever since she's been like slowly I say slowly, she's been like really on it like a car bonnet. She's been releasing music like nothing else. Since she's been doing that, I feel like all of us have been like, where's Speak Now? Where's Speak Now? And I'm also here for where's the Taylor Swift original. I'm here for it. I will not apologize for the person that I will become. 
on that day. I have warned everybody in my life. Like, I'm especially excited for Better Than Revenge because here it has say, now go stand in the corner and think about what you did. Like, I am going to scream when I hear that. I'm going to just fucking lose my marbles. I think that's the eye look essentially done. Um, I'm gonna go off camera and I know this is a get ready with me and I should probably do all of this on camera, but I have been talking at you for 58 minutes. So I'm just gonna finish up the rest of my makeup. I'll come back to tell you what I used and then we'll wrap up this video because I don't think I have any other things to say. So I'll see you in a second. We are back with the completed look. So if you're curious about what I used, mascara, NYX Worth the Hype, as per usual. Uh, for my waterline, I used the uh, Odin's Eye Solmon Gel Liner in the shade four. It's like their sea foamy shade. And this is like the best sea, f like I find that these um, gel liners from Odin's Eye, they're very hit or miss, like, some of them are really good, some of them not so much. This is one of the really good ones. Like if you want a perfect like sea foam waterline that's pigmented, this is the one. The blush, I use the discontinued Kaleidos Lo-Fi Rose blush duo. I use the matte shade, which I'm seeing pan rings on. So hopefully I'll hit pan on that soon. And for my highlight, I used the uh, ColourPop. I can't bloody open these. The clasp is just far too extreme on this. This is the Colourpop uh, Super Shock highlight in the shade Spirit Wilds. It's one of their marbled ones and it's quite subtle on the cheeks, but it's, n it's nice. It complements like the look really nicely because I didn't want the like highlight to overtake everything. Very soft and ethereal. Can't stop using Kaleidos lip clays. I just can't. I just can't. This is the shade Bare and I blotted it out and all that stuff and oh, just such a good pinky neutral. Yeah, I'll just show you up close the look. <laughs> so this is the completed look right here. It's subtle, it's pastel, it's fairy-like, it's everything that I love in a makeup look. I don't know if you're gonna see the duochrome of pearl, like that pinky shade right here, but it is wonderful. And yeah, with all of that said and done, that is it for today's video. Let me put on my glasses so I can actually see you. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, This was a bit of like a all over the place get ready with me, but I really hope you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun just playing with makeup, catching up on life with y'all. Yeah, thank you for giving me the space to be able to like open up about my disabilities and all of that stuff. I, f I swear the makeup community is the cutest community ever. Like I feel so safe and all of that. And I like being honest because hearing other people talk about like their struggles makes me feel like less alone in that sort of thing. And we've all got issues, but yeah, I just want to say thank you for being like such a sweet community. Love you very much. I cannot wait to use it more and eventually do a two looks with it. I've been kind of slacking with my two looks videos, I can't lie, but Hopefully I'll go around to this at some point. And yeah, if you'd like to see more makeup content from me, then you can follow me on my Instagram. It's fairy sky right here. I post all my looks there and I'm active on there every single day. If you'd like to support me further, I do have my own small business, Rain Cloud Candles Co. We are a small queer owned business based in the UK and we make handmade candles. The link to shop will be down below along with our social media. If you'd like to support us, it'd be greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to have you here. We have a good time time on this channel we just we have a lot of chatty videos talk about makeup all that good stuff so yeah if you'd like to see more of that uh, do subscribe <laughs> and as always stay safe wash your hands and i'll see you guys in the next video bye